In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Meta Control to design a spoon using basic shapes coming up on Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your mailbox. And thanks for being here. So like I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to use Meta Control and do some basic shapes to create something like a spoon. This video is going to be a part of a series of videos. Now we are using some basic shapes to create something like a spoon. In upcoming videos, it will be going more deeper into this piece of software from Matter Hackers. In the end, I will put the STL file on Thingiverse, but I'm also going to post it on my website, Zachary3dprints.com. I'll put the link in the description of this video where you can find your SDL files. Let's get into the tutorial. Matter Control is a slicing software. It's also a 3D printer control software and you can use Matter Control also for design like Tinkercad. Well, in this tutorial, we are going to use some basic shapes to design a spoon. Somebody asked me to make a little tutorial for this kind of way, how I am going to design a spoon using the shapes which Matter Control provides me. This is going to be a series of multiple videos, not specifically for a spoon, but different kind of things you can design in Matter Control. So this is the building or work area where you can design something on Matter Control. Before I'm going to design anything, make sure that you are logged in. This is this is my my account by Matter Control. If you're starting Matter Control for the first time, use the sync dashboard function. It will take you to a website. If you are not signed in for Matter Control, it's no problem. Just make new account if you didn't do that and then make also sure that you are able to sync your dashboard. When I do that, you click on sync dashboard and then you come here. This is my designs. When I double click on it, it will bring me to a subfolder that I created in C3DP designs. This is what you need to do the first thing before you start making designs. So now we can close that. When you click on add content, you get all those folders, right? So what you can do is go to library, then cloud library, and then here you see Z3DP designs. This is the folder where I want to save all my designs to. So now it's all set and now I can make some designs. Let's start with the basic shape from the spoon. Well, we take a half square. Last time I was rushing to the possibilities of Meta Control, but now in this tutorial, I'm going step by step. If you want to skip this kind of steps, no problem. I will make sure that in this video, there are some chapters where you can skip to the video. So in this half square, you have multiple options. As you can see, the geometry is very coarse. No problem, you can always make some changes here. The diameter is here 20. I can change it to something like 40 and see what happens. The whole diameter is going to be changed. Longitude sides, well, in this case it's 40. Let's see what happens when we make 100 of it. As you can see in the horizontal direction, everything is way smaller. This we can also do for the latitude sides. Instead of 10, we make 100. And as you can see, the surface is 
much more smoother. Well, I use a Mac, but with Ctrl Z, you can go back a few steps. So here's my basic shape, the half square. So if you made a mistake, no problem. Just do one time or two times undo. Now we got those nice arrows. Well, when you point at it, you can see exactly in which direction you can move this object. So this is in the Y direction. This is in the Z direction. And this is in the Z axis direction. And also like in Tinkercad, this arrow, when we move it, we move the whole object or sphere or any kind of shape we move in the Z direction. So we do Ctrl Z and we are back to where the shape was. If you, if you are way off, something like that, I, I don't know why Meta Control does that. Click on Reset View and you're back. Now we are going to make it a little bit less deep. Something like that. Now we are going to move it in the X direction or you can use the Y direction also okay. And as you can see, I can move it in both ways when I'm just using one of the points. Control Z to undo that change. Just like in Tinkercad, when you are holding the shift button down and you pick one of the points, it moves in all directions. If you don't do that, it's only moving in one direction where you are putting your mouse to. So let's make the long shape for the spoon, something like that. If you say that you want to have a deeper spoon, no problem, then just move it. Take the cube on top and move it higher, not using the arrow. So that was one of the shapes. So. We are going to flip it over 180 degrees. You see what happened? If you missed it, I will do it again. We select this. And we flip it over to one of the points. And as you can see, it's flipped 180 degrees minus. Well, we select it and then we are going to make a copy of it, paste it. Well, this is exactly the same size. To make a hollow shell to put in here, we are going to hold down the shift and we take one of the points, something like that. And then we put it a little bit higher or a little bit taller, something like that. And then we are going to put it right in there. So, something like that. I'm going to give this a different kind of color so that I can see what, which kind of shape it is. Well, well, let's take the orange one. So, as you can see, one is not totally aligned. That is no problem. This is one of the shapes. Now, we need to align every shell. So it's not aligned as you can see. So we select both and then we are going to, to here. And as you can see, there is something that is called a line. So we click on it and then we get this menu on the right hand side. So for the X axis, just click on the home. So X axis, Y axis, Z axis. So for this axis, we are going to align it center. Watch what happens. Now we are going to do the same for the Y axis. Watch what happens. I can do the same thing for the Z axis, but then I will lose my orange part. I don't want to have that. So. I can say I'm going to take the max and let's see what happens. 
I think this looks pretty much what I want. But then the question comes, it's not hollow. Yes, that's correct. Let's do that. So as you can see, I did make some changes. Why? Because the higher these values are, the longer the processing time it takes when you are doing some other things like subtraction. So we were at the point of the aligning. So we aligned them in the X axis and in the Y axis in the middle, in the middle. And for the Z axis, we can do max and something like this, but then I don't see the orange part. When I'm going to do the subtraction, you are not going to see it. So to be safe than sorry, we do none. So that a little part is sticking out of the, of the half square. Now, because everything is aligned and so selected, now I'm going to do the subtract. So we click on subtract and then we are going to select half a sphere or half sphere one. Just select one of the two and see what happens. This is the outer shell that is going to be subtracted and you can select the inner part. That is the copy which I have shrinked a little bit. Now I click on update and as you can see we have a cup. So and this is how it looks like. I subtracted the inner part from the outer part and this is how it looks like. As you can see the geometry is more visible than the 200 and 180 sides. But I don't know what your purpose is and what you want to accomplish. If you have some time and you want to do something with a higher number of sites, then you can do that, but be aware of the processing time in the meantime. So now we have the spoon part. We need to have a handle. So now we are going to make the handle for the spoon. So if we want to manipulate something like this we click on it and we press on in this case three because i want to have it as thick as three millimeters and the height we can make something like one millimeter i think that should be thick enough so to bend the spoon or at least the handle for the spoon we select the part and we have put it on the side now we are going to click on curve and now we get this round shape. We can bend them in any kind of direction as long as it is a circle. Let's show you how this looks like if we are saying like 180. So the circle is way bigger, but my handle isn't that much bent and I can say minimal sides per rotation I can say well let's make it into 60 and the start percentage we can say like zero now you see that my handle here starts right in the left front corner and it goes to the other side on the down part shall I say. Of course you can make it as big as you want. Um, let's make one 360. Way bigger and less curvature. I think you get the idea. Can make it a little bit thicker something like that and there I got my parts. Let's flip it over something like 90 degrees. Let's move it higher and there we have the handle. But as you can see, it doesn't fit. So we are going to do snap grid and then we are lowering it with 0.25. And let's see what happens. We click on it and we are going to 
move this as close as possible to the edge because I want to have the side or the edge from the spoon in line with this. And of course I can use the alignment tool, but we are going to do that a little bit later. So now I'm going to select it and let's do the align. So first we press reset view, just increase the view a little bit. So this is the X axis. So can we do something here? No, we can't. But for the Y axis and for the Z axis, we can do something. This we put in the middle. And there for the Z axis, we put on max. And let's see how this looks like. Right where I want to have it. And there you have a spoon designed in matter control made with basic shapes there's only one thing that i need to do i need to export this and export it as an stl file the stl file i will put a link in the description of this video where you can find it on thingiverse but also on my website zachary 3 dprintscom so to wrap up this video using matter control for something simple as like a spoon this spoon can also be something totally different depending on which kind of designs you want to make with matter control when you use the retract function make sure that your geometry is quite good and you don't have that much sides when using spheres or half spheres in this case because the processing time can take a little bit longer and take a coffee in the meantime. In the near future, I will make more videos about this designing tool in Matter Control. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share this video, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D prints. Bye bye.